What's up there, YouTube? Windy Nation Ventura 750 installed. We got some pretty good winds today. Look at that. Here, I brought my laptop out to show you readings from the weather station. Look at that. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is not real time. This updates like every, I think, 40 seconds or so. So that, that's like, I'll just let you watch this here so you can kind of see what the wind speeds are doing. You know, it's like a 15 mile an hour wind. Let's see when it updates here. As you can see, there's the date. Oh, focused out. There we go. There's the foot. April 13, or I'm sorry, April 12, 2013. 10.01. Okay, you can see it's not really moving far. It's pretty much been steady around there. So, I'll say 15, 16 mile an hour winds. There's my amps. Did wind dip down a little, and it's so hard to hear this thing. It's so quiet. Here's my volts off of that PMA. Well, I want to call it a generator. I don't really think, consider that an alternator. This is from my dual core PMA that I had going on. This one's off. This one obviously is not connected to anything. This is the bridge rectifier from Windy Nation. Uh, my home built brake switch with voltmeter, DC voltmeter, as you saw in the last video. I apologize, this is shaky. I don't have my camcorder yet. I'm still waiting for that to come in. Look at that. Amps. Amps. Oh, that died out. There it goes. Look at that. I hate these blue meters. I think they're terrible. If I can get up here better. I'm gonna generate some watts. There's four, three, four, six amps on these winds. So yeah, you can see it's just it's fluctuating within that range. I came out here earlier this morning. I wish I was able to catch it on tape. But I was able to get Oh, I think it was I think I was up near 30 amps. Look at this. Oh, son of a bitch, I missed it. Turn the light on there. 10, 11, 12. I think that was even 13 amps. Wind speed is still hold in there but I saw the double digit amps I'm seeing double digit amps out of this thing very easily very easily look at that apologize this is so shaky here comes a gust at 11 almost come on gust I hear it out there I hear it whipping through the trees And 12, 13, yeah, that was almost 14 amps. As you can see, this is a little kilowatt meter. I have it set to watts. AC watts now. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, fucking A. 16 amps. Let's see if we see another big boom here. You know, meters reading up over 20 miles an hour. Just to show you. Now, remember, oh, the also, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, 750, I also have on it five wind grabber 35 inch blades from Windy Nation. 
See, it's raining and it's shitty out here today. Let me see if I can get a shot of it. Yeah, there it is there. That thing has not stopped spinning since I installed it yesterday. Has not stopped spinning. Let's see here. Okay, this is AC Watts. We'll watch this for a moment. Now, oh, here's the grid tie inverter. I know I was getting a lot of questions about this. Um, this is just a, I guess it would be considered a Sun. It's not a power jack. Sun 500 watt grid tie inverter. Let's see, my voltages are 10.8 to 30 volts DC. And I just have it simply, here's the power cord. It's just running here. Runs there directly into this kilowatt meter. And this AC transformer here, this just runs my gauges. This is just the power for that. Just a little quick run do rundown in case you haven't seen my last video. And then it comes down three phase AC into this box. This goes into the top into the center of the switch. Right now I'm on rectify mode. It's on load. This is brake. Yeah, see how the amps just drop off to zero? I'll oh, show sure. you. It stopped. That's brake. Okay. Turn that back on because I'm, I'm not making electricity with the brake. Then it'll spin up. Holy crap, man! I'll show you the I'll show you the winds that I got, just to kind of get an idea. Here's that tree there. You can tell it's barely dancing. My tree out there is barely dancing. Look at these. These trees are barely, barely moving. So I mean, right now the winds are light, but when they blow up, they blow up big time. Even that one out there just jiggling a little bit. Now here's an old wind reading. Yeah, there, that's more like it. And look at that. Oh. There it goes. Look at that. Two amps. Now, don't forget, there's also solar tied into this system. Okay. I know, it's a mess. These wires here are for that blue meter. These ones here, these are for the blue meter. All right now, let's see. Did we dip below 10? I think we dipped below 10. Let's go out here and check this out. Look at this. It's still spinning. It's not making anything because there's no wind. And it stopped. I think that's the first time it stopped since I put it in. Wow, yeah, here. Just to kind of get an idea. Barely any wind. This thing tracks so nicely in the wind. I am so glad, so happy with this purchase. I really am. Oh, okay. There's the cups, they're spinning up. See if the wind gets to that yet. See now it's coming out of the west, west northwest, west southwest. I'm sorry. It's really light wind right now. Probably down to like two. The wind's just died off. I was trying to get out here earlier. There you go. To do this. But if winds pick back up again later this afternoon, maybe I'll do another video just to kind of show you what my production is, but okay. Now, one thing I do want to show you, let me get this thing to focus. Here, take a look at this, okay? My kilowatt meter. All right, this is,
How many kilowatt? Well, okay, five five hundred and twenty watt hours I've generated since. Okay, so just under a day, fifteen, almost sixteen hours. This has been running. Oops, wrong one. So not bad. Not bad at all. I am very pleased with that. But okay, that's just an idea. Yeah, see, I'm not generating any solar. I'm not generating any wind. There's not enough wind. Now, to keep in mind also, this is no higher than the other one was. The uh, dual PMA that I had up there was about 30 feet off the ground. 20, 25 to 30 feet. I don't know exactly because I haven't measured. But that's about how high it is. You see, I'm making... 14 volt solar, but it's not producing any amps. Oh, here comes another gust. Ooh, let's see if we can get it started. You see it start? Ah, oh, son of a bitch, we missed it. But it's going. There's the little cups. Okay. But really low winds. I mean,. Yeah, very low winds, almost no wind. Okay, YouTube. That's the Windy Nation Wintura 750 PMA with five 35 inch wind grabber aluminum blades, I believe. Oh, yeah, just so you know, those blades are sharp. So if you do decide to get one of these, I highly recommend it. I think it's an awesome, a frickin' awesome PMA. Okay, YouTube.